Hey guys, it's Chantel. Welcome back to my channel. I am so cold, so I have a little hoodie on. Um, today I have a chicken dog, a chicken hot dog. I have tater tots. I know I promise um, I'm gonna give a break of eating the tater tots on camera. I'll eat them off camera. Then I'll get boring, but I just want to finish the bag or almost finish the bag up. Um, and then I have an extra piece of chicken, some ranch, and these are the new, well, new to me. These are M&Ms and they have um honey gram. so we'll i'll show you the i'll show you guys the bag in a minute and then i have some water so this chicken hot dog obviously is not a hot dog um it has chicken and ranch i saw this um i was watching a youtuber well actually no i put in chicken hot dogs because i wanted to actually make one and what do you know i thought two videos and they made um chicken um hot dogs one lady she put um like I think she put uh, cucumbers, um, coleslaw, and she had like um, cut up chicken, like chicken pieces. She made it home. The other lady made hers more like a pizza. It was like mozzarella with olives and the chicken. So I just, I wanted like a hot dog bun, but obviously I don't eat. Um, I have not tried a vegan or veggie um, hot dog. So I made chicken. Here it is. I love, this is a pretzel bun. Mm. How you guys doing today? Mm. You see that sting? I'm not gonna see it. I can't see it. Steaming hot. Oh, my hands are all got a ranch all over them. Mm, these pretzel buns are so good. They don't even have salt on them, but they're so good. Chicken's gonna keep on salt. Oh my gosh, look at all these stuck together. Oh my God. I can't believe this is still steaming. You guys can't see it. Mm. Sorry. <clears throat> Of a napkin, but this napkin is like gross, like with ranch and oh guys, last night I was watching my crime show, and um, it was about. There's a lady and her partner, and they had six kids. Well, one lady had six kids, right? And I guess she started having kids like super young in high school. And I guess they all like different dads. Like she kind of was just, I don't know what was happening in her life at the time. But um, she has these six kids. And then, um, and then she meets this lady 
they end up moving together. I'm assuming they're a couple. It doesn't really say, but I'm assuming they're a couple. And she has some kind of medical um, issue. So pretty much she let the girlfriend or <clears throat> the lady she was dating, I don't know, like I said, her partner, take care of the kids. And the lady just abused these kids. Like she would starve them. She would lock two of them in the closet. It was crazy because it was five boys and one girl and they would treat the girl different from the boys. And so she pretty much just like let it happen. And like child services would come to the house and they pretend everything was okay. And um, one time the kids, <clears throat> they wouldn't even go, she wouldn't even like go to the bathroom. It was a lot. Um, and so one time the sister opened the closet for them. She's like, hurry up, go get some food and come back. They went downstairs and they showed the actual pictures. The house was fully stocked with food. You couldn't even get anything in the freezer. It was like waffles, meat, just bricks stacked to the max. The cupboards, all kinds of canned goods. And they could not believe that that was that much food in the house. And here they are. I think she would give them like a peanut butter and jelly sandwich, like a half a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Um, just, they were very malnourished, right? And so, and one of the survivors, he's telling the story. And I mean, he is breaking down so much. He has to take break. I mean, it's so sad because I mean, this happened in 2003 and he's like in his 20s. And he just, it was so sad. Being locked in a closet at night, dark, you get PTSD, just thinking about being in the dark. I mean, it was crazy. I, I feel so bad for him because, of course, it's still affecting him, you know? And so, one day, again, the sister was like, you guys got to get out of here. So, she helped three of them escape. The two that was locked in the closet and another one. So they escaped and they said they walked down the street in like barely any clothes, no shoes. It was like three in the morning and they were um, just looking for help. So they saw like a water hose and they were going to try and drink water. And they saw a lady looking at them out the window. So and she was on the phone. So they booked it out of there. Well, next thing you know, the police picks them up. The police were like asking them, hey, what, what are you guys doing? What's happening? And they didn't want to say it. So the police was like, hey. They were like, hey, we'll get you guys some food, but you got to tell us what's going on. So he's like, we get locked in a closet. We don't get food. We're this and that. And they were like, what? So then finally, they were like, we're taking you back home. They were screaming like, no, don't take us back home. They take them back home, but they arrested the two ladies. And they were like so relieved. And so that's when they, the police actually went to the house and saw that the house was fully stocked and oh they had toys and stuff too but they wouldn't they complain with them she could put them in a trash bag so like i said when cps came over she would bring out the toys like if they were a happy family it was insane i can't believe they even survived right i mean they were tiny like they showed a picture of all six kids you would think that the youngest one was like Three, like they were just so, he was like eight, you know, but he just was so skinny. They each pled guilty, got 30 years. So they'll get out of prison, I think in 2033. And um, he said he wrote his mom and he wrote the other lady. Okay, camera cut out. I don't even know where I was in the story. The point of the story was these two ladies got 30 years. The One of the sons is still traumatized, and I'm sure they all are. And the worst part is the sister, she was the only girl who helped them escape, ended up dying in a head-on collision like when they were older. And he just was devastated. He was like, she was like a mother to us. She helped, like, she helped them escape. So it was just a tragic, sad story. I'm glad they're serving 30 years. Like they're serving the whole 30 years. 
So um, it was just really sad. I think three of the kids were sent back with their dads because like I said, everyone had different dads. So I think three of them were sent back with their dads and three got adopted. And uh, he said that he had eaten food that he never even heard of before. Like it was just a sandwich. But he was like, I didn't even know that that food existed that was that good. Like with meat and lettuce and tomatoes and like different, you know, bread. And he hadn't experienced that because he would get a peanut butter and jelly sandwich, like half of one. And so um, he's like, they don't even know how they survived, honestly. But anyways, sad story. But like I said, I'm glad that they got their time and they showed a picture of them okay why do they look 20 years older than what they are they just look so seriously older i'm like wow prison did not do you well but anyways let me show you these i don't want to spill them <sighs> saw these yesterday i saw these at the store so I saw these, like I said, they're honey graham M&Ms. Um, so let's taste them. So I did not like these. They weren't sweet at all to me. So I will not be giving them again. But until next time, don't forget to comment, like, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care, guys. Bye.